This is our, our living, living room. room. And, and it sucks. sucks. It's dark. And boring. So we're on a mission to transform this space with the power, power of, of DIY. DIY. This is going to be a crazy ride of trial and error. Blood. Sweat. Tears. And we're not going to stop until this room looks like a Pinterest picture. We're going to be making an armchair and a coffee table. So we need to figure out how to fit them within this space. We weren't confident. <laughs> So we put a plan online for some reassurance and we got some public feedback. The space feels like an office lobby. The whole space feels like a pass-through. That's why it feels like a betting shop. So now you know. Now you know. Now you know. That was Cliff Tan, the master of feng shui and the expert in arranging your home. He basically said the composition of our room was doo-doo. You could say it was embarrassing. Maybe a bit crippling. So we'll go again. But this time, bigger. bigger. This is going to be the key in mapping out how to make our room ultimate, ultimate feng shui. Let's hope it works because Cliff said he wants to come and visit our house in two weeks. And in true Olamide and Cullen fashion, we said yes. Yeehaw! We started off with what we thought would be the <laughs> easiest job. <sighs> Let's get the rugs. Oh, creamy. We need to return all these rugs today and we haven't had a chance to pick one. But we don't know if any of them will go with the room. Rug. Roulette. Let's be honest, it's between two. It's about the big boys. We're just disregarding the other two already. But those other two are washable. <laughs> I think orange is horrible. It does not fit. Green, it's not bad. It's out of the cream and red. It has to be red, right? I was gonna say cream. One moment, please. I'm still very happy with the red rug and it's gonna go really well. Red rug it is. <laughs> That's the first piece of the puzzle done. But now take a look at this designer chair. It costs 2,000 pounds. Our budget does not have the capacity. So we're gonna do something very cheeky. We just printed it out. It's a good fit. It sounds crazy, but we'll explain why shortly. Ta -da! When we made our sofa, we took time to ask so many experts for help. This time, we don't have the time. So making this chair is a complete shot in the dark. Fly <laughs> With the paper, we're making a perfectly scaled side template of the chair. It's amazing what you can do when you find the chair measurements on their website. And we use some thin wood to keep the cost down. If we're a bit scared, it might not be strong enough, but that's a sacrifice we are willing to make. But now we have to make the spine. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, old buddy, old pal. We were taking it easy and really enjoying the process of making this chair. That was a huge mistake. And the storm is brewing. But look how good it's looking. We are so good at this. <laughs> yeah. We think the next stage of making this chair should be attaching the foam. And in the past, we have had problems with it. What have you done? I'm taking it. <laughs> so Ola had a brilliant idea. I should cut this. This is my redemption art. Do you want any points from me or? <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah! <laughs> we needed some more materials, so I went and searched for that while Cullen started working on the legs. And I've never seen him do calculations like this before! Lovely. <laughs> How sure are you on these maths? 100%. Really? Yeah. Come on, shake my hands. <laughs> I should never have shaken his hand. Those maths led us to doom. Two legs. Nice. <laughs> now we're ready to attach the phone. Safety first. Mask on. Let's go. Making this chair is gonna take a long time. We're gonna have to multitask. We'll leave this for now and move on to what is probably the most important part of this transformation. The paint. The fact that this room doesn't get much light is something we're trying to fix. And we've got a solution that you probably won't expect. But first, prep. You can check out how we made this sofa in our first YouTube video. And don't forget to press that subscribe button just like that. <laughs> While we prepped, we heard this. It was coming from the cupboard. 
And once we open it, it's gonna change the course of this living room transformation. Ooh, we just caught a rat. Oh my God. It's pooing right now. Come on, man. You have to take a rat two miles away from your house. I'm just traumatized. I had a troubled childhood. I had mice in my house. Now I have rats. Why am I upgrading? Just an excuse for me to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> I'm the one touching the rats. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that noise I made. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's paint. <laughs> <laughs> the idea with the paint is simple. Two paint colours. Dark, light. Now you might say, why have you chosen such a dark colour for such a dark living room? The answer to that is we're embracing the darkness. And you can do that by using warm neutral colours to make the space feel cosy. We're using this tape to separate the colours. And we found the perfect hack to make sure that the dividing line is crispy. It's going to be a long night, but... We've got this. Yeah. At this point, we couldn't afford a mistake, but we made one. Yeah, we're meant to use mat. This is only meant for skating boards. It's an easy mistake to make. We had to go deep into the night to recover some time. The tiredness was kicking in. So we decided to go and <laughs> We use them as a friendly guide, and the key is to paint the underside of the tape, just so there are no paint gaps and it's a clean rip. But we'll leave that for tomorrow, because it's time to get some much needed. I'm still tired. Let's get, get busy. busy. The walls, done. Skirting board, done. Is it me or is this place looking fancy? There's just one more important job left. Ooh. The big rip. Yes! Your turn. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh. Oh no. What did you? Oh my god! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we were so happy with the results. That hack really worked. <laughs> but with the time that we've got left, it's not looking like we're going to make it. So for the next step, we asked for help from Cullen's dad, Simon, because we need to change the lights. And he's a qualified electrician. Cullen's still sleeping, so I'm talking quietly. I need to rip apart my bedroom for Cullen's dad to do the electrics underneath this floor. With the deadline closing in, we just got so desperate. And I sent a message to Cliff asking if he could just come one week later. This was the only real way we could get this done without breaking ourselves. And while we waited for his response, we just broke my room. <sighs> but now... We're doing the lighting. When you say we, is your dad, really. Yeah, yeah, man. He's right. in the kitchen right now. Right. Yeah, I'm your father. First, we marked out where we wanted the lights to go with some majors. We're about to have a cozy house. Mm. Cozy house, cozy house. My father is doing something called fishing, where he uses this camera to guide wires through the ceiling. And just like that, we had lights. Collar even had time to fix his creaky floorboards. By the way, Cliff said. Bad move. All night long. All night. <laughs> All, All night. night long. <laughs> All night. <laughs> What we needed right then was some good news. And Cullen's dad had some advice for us on the rats. I can't see how you can stop them. Generally speaking, <laughs> they're nocturnal. <laughs> and if we want to get this transformation done, we're going to have to be nocturnal too. <laughs> to get through this, we're going to try and divide and conquer. Ola's taking charge of the coffee table. And Cullen's in charge of making the chair leggies. It's a two in one. And it only ends well for one of us. With this coffee table, you're either gonna love it or hate it. We started by getting some liquid margin boo and pouring it over a gold bar. Once it's set, we had a perfect silicone mold. This is the key to our coffee table. 
that powder is called jesmonite. And once mixed with this solution, it becomes hard like a rock. You can make so many different things with it, but we're making bricks. Meanwhile, I was working on the chair legs and it just wasn't going how I expected. The initial plan was to make the legs out of these pillars that curve perfectly to the underside of the seat. But in my calculations, I kind of forgot that we had to attach the legs to the body. No. The new plan? <sighs> Why don't you explain the new plan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me take over real quick. Lots of these are stack, 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 stack for their feet. Also, we're going to drill some holes in them because we've got a plan of how to attach their legs to the body. Honestly, it's less of a plan and more of a hunch. But we'll explain later. It's crucial that the ratio of powder to solution is perfect. So I got out my scale because I need to cook. Now, all I have to do is figure out the design we want. All I want is to finish these legs. So I bought something to speed up the process and all I wanted to try it out. And that's why he's doing the bricks. I just need to smooth out the top of the legs with foam so it fits the underside perfectly. Then I'm going to cover the chair in something called Dacron. It pads it out. It makes it plump. Dacron is... The best thing about these bricks is they're so versatile. We can make whatever we want. Okay, let us know in the comments. Do you love it or hate it? By the end of the day, I had a new plan to attach the legs and I thought it was going to work. I just needed to persuade Ola. This lot. All the way to the bottom. Into the base. You get me? I don't know. We were running out of time. I had no choice. <laughs> that night, Cullen ordered something I didn't even know existed. It's crunch time. We need to finish the chair and make the lamps. So we picked up some cheap vases. We'll be using them later. And when we got back home, we just started to notice that the house was just stinking. Oh, it smells so bad. That could be a problem, but we had to focus on upholstering this chair. We struggle at sewing, so we had to ask for help from my fiance, Beth. And something came over us. Just, just she's a magician. Like, like magic. magic. She's, she's a magician. The sewing, the sewing was, was done. done. She's a magician. Oh, Danny. <laughs> With the sewing out of the way, there was a new technique that we had to get to grips with. Ply grip. So you need to pull it tight. There we go again. Finishing off Beth's work. We took that. It's coming to go off. To ply grip, we nailed these metal strips to the side of the chair. Then we're gonna stretch this fabric and feed it into the clamps on the metal strips. It just feels like I'm stretching skin. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you know that lady in Doctor Who? No. She's just a bit of skin <laughs> on a coat rack. <laughs> Once we've tucked the fabric, we seal the clamps. And if we've done it right, it should hold. Guys, this look is so good, but it still has a lot to do. Look at the flappy hair. We're running out of time. Cliff's coming. And we still got to put the legs on. But we could not ignore this smell for much longer. Viewer discretion is advised. Cliff can't come around. How can we expect anybody to come in this house and be like, oh, lovely living room? <laughs> it's a genuine joke. <laughs> oh, what died in here? <laughs> we have an answer. We had some suspicions. Let me get a box. Oh, oh do you see it? I see flies, I need light. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. It oh! Explodes. Oh, what if it explodes? A rat went to heaven underneath our floor. I'm gonna look. Ugh. I'm not gonna look. We were at breaking point, so this became a full team effort. <laughs> Fabric and Dacron for their legs, done. Tomorrow we attach them, but tonight we make the lamps. And we're so tired. We've got this water bottle there. And this is like the sky with Jiggy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can tell you're tired, man. Nobody knows what the sky <laughs> with Jiggy is. <laughs> so this is a bottle of water. <laughs> oh, man, it's not just the sky with Jiggy. Wait, let me try again. <laughs> but we're gonna use this as like the lubrication for the drill bit to cut through the glass. Mm. You get too much friction, you'll crack it, we'll smash it, we'll ruin it. 
Wow. Nice. I'm just scared for mine because mine is so curvy. Yeah, and fragile. Good luck, man. Thanks. That's okay. You got away with it. That's okay. Delir we, we were working through deliriousness. Nice. Second wind. We're gonna do it. Let's go. They dried quick, so we wired them up. In the end, they turned out a bit more brothely than we expected. But we'll make up our minds on them later. Alexa, what's the time? It's 4.17am. Bed. <laughs> we needed rest. They're not turned. They're not turned. They're not turned. I can guarantee they'll be wondering. Pitch black at night. There's a food source. Colin! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we did not sleep a wink. This is our final showdown. We've made these holes so we can find a way to attach their legs to the body. And we've got the secret weapon, a long drill bit extender. This is kind of janky, but it's the best we could do. Nice. No. No. Oh. The screw fell off in the hole. Again. Again. Yeah, and it will rip off. Yes! <laughs> I can feel your stress and you are talking. It's working, but we have to get the room ready too. Assemble the shelves. Decide on the lamps. We can't waste a second. I mean, I think that looks pretty cool. I am not sure. I like the red lamps. <laughs> Nanny. Yellow lamp. We're losing the red lamps. When's Cliff coming? 25 minutes. We need to do everything now. Just in? Yeah, went in. Duck. Ah! It didn't work. No. We're not ready. One second, Cliff. One second. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> He's here. And he's already started to judge. No! <laughs> Hello! Before Cliff judges this room, we need to flex real quick. Because we just transformed this space on time. And we love it. But how do you think we did? Let us know. Yeah. Oh, and the chair? It nearly finished us. But we finished it first. In the end, it only cost us around 200 pounds. And about 5% of our hairline. This room was brought to life with the art of feng shui. And now the master is at our doorstep. It's enough that we love it, but we kind of need his approval. What will master say? Oh my God, oh my God. See, this is the first view. Like, little things like that. All in the detail. This won't be easy. What are your first impressions? It's like what I dreamed of. So good. <laughs> so cozy. A little bit dark. A little bit like a prison. A little bit like a dungeon. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Now let's turn on the lights. Let's go. He looks like a hospital now. Point the lights to all the pictures and stuff and this will give the same effect as, as indirect lighting. I like this line that goes around mm. the room. It kind of yeah. reduces the, the look of this beam. Oh, so big! Why you need such a big TV for such a small room? Just push it as much to the corner as possible. This is not character. This is just a magnifying glass. Like This is full of character. It, it, it really speaks about you. Oh, amazing! <laughs> No complaints. I don't complain about everything, you know. I'm quite nice, actually. <laughs> oh, so nice. I like it. Very good. I actually like it. I think it's very well, very successful. Very successful. Yes, it looks good. Yo! For the first time in three years, 
we're gonna figure out how we live in our living room and we'll start by relaxing.